Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday, my name's Ruben and this is my review for my adventures with Superman. It's dropping on July the 6th on Max, which is called, you know, the previously named HBO Max. It comes from DC and Adult Swim and I think most who love Superman will enjoy this, but it is different, so let's talk about it. In this serialized coming-of-age story, we follow Clark as he builds his secret Superman identity and embraces his role as the hero of Metropolis and perhaps the world. Lois is now growing into a star investigative journalist, takes aspiring photographer Jimmy Olsen under her wing. All the while, Clark and Lois are falling in love, sharing adventures, tracking down bad guys, stumbling over secrets and discovering what it means to be Superman and Lois Lane. So from the creator who brought some of Steven Universe and the new DuckTales has been working in the animated industry for quite a while, so knows what he's doing. I think first and foremost, you need to know that this is definitely a family friendly take on this. So although it, they're trying to do something new, it's going to feel very familiar, but also very family friendly. It's not as dark as I was hoping. I was not hoping that it's going like super dark and we're going to see severed limbs. But this definitely feels like a younger generation's Superman and Lois, but very attainable and relatable that many people who know Superman and love Superman are going to watch anyway because they want to see this iteration. The thing that stands out to me in this is the love letter to Lois and Clark. Their relationship building is very sweet and comes across as genuine. Reminds me of Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman way back when I used to watch that with my parents very clean very fun still very entertaining and that went on for a number of seasons you could almost look at this as the prequel to that and this animated series as coming just after Smallville but kind of downing the darkness of what there is. That's not to say there aren't dark moments in these episodic stories. And there is an overarching sort of arc that's starting to creep in later. There is the starting of some guys messing with tech that they shouldn't have. And obviously our young journalists are coming into their own as journalists. So this isn't them at the peak of their careers. This also isn't the the peak of Superman and his powers. He's still trying to figure out who he is, Dumb. what he is, where he comes from, how he uses his powers. He isn't the strongest Superman we've seen. Huh. You think he's a plane? <laughs> it kind of looks like a bird. In fact, he really is struggling with some of his powers and figuring out what he can do with them. So it isn't him just being able to take out every bad guy just willy-nilly it is him struggling a little bit and that's where we see the trio of team come together working together so well in this investigation kind of storyline the episodic nature of it we have jimmy olsen who has a little bit of a backstory but they do need to give us some more fleshing out for his story but i like him he's voiced by ishmael said and uh, i think he plays great at that character he brings a lot in his voice we have jack quaid who plays clark kent perfect casting for this particular Superman that we're going for because it's very young in nature, very light and floaty, but also has a presence of that change of quality from Superman to Clark Kent, which is a, a, a difference, a, a variation of the same person, but you do need to kind of have almost two personalities in voice work. And that comes across really well. And then we have Alice Lee as Lois Lane. And I think them three together has done fantastically. I have to say, when it comes to the animation, it's some of the best flying I've seen on screen, how it's depicted. They've really had fun with their movements, which I appreciate. The, the actual animation and stuff we've seen a lot before, they aren't doing anything like brand new, but it looks crisp, clean. There's a lot of frames in there that I think you could use as posters to really enjoy this new kind of style of Superman. It reminds me of an animated Superman series we've been watching for years. It feels like we've just we've just come into the story. And I think that's a very clever and intelligent way to write the story, even though it's new and it's fresh, even though these characters are still learning to be who they are. Uh, it feels like it's written for people coming in who know the Superman story, but also want to see something new and different. 
Now, my only reservations and drawback to the, the story as a whole is that I know that everything now is part of the James Gunn universe. So it's going to be incorporated. This is from his own words that all uh, animations and comics and films are all going to and TV series are all going to be kind of drawing into this bigger, wider 10 year arc. And I can see where they've done that in this. It doesn't feel forced, but it seems like, OK, if I were going to draw this story in perhaps elsewhere to kind of connect somewhat, this is where I would take that thread. There's also a story thread in here that if it was done five, six years ago, would have been fresh. However, we've got a lot of what's going on in a particular story thread that I feel people are going to sigh at and go, what, another one of these? There's a lot, not just on the DC side, but on the Marvel side, where they've taken this particular story thread and put it in here. Now, I actually think it works really well in this, and it's fun. But I do feel like some people will be like, oh, not again. Can we just do this one thing, please? Unfortunately, this is the thing that's going to be drawing all those stories together. So... I guess along the line, in years, you know, future years, if it's come together well, if it's been written together to incorporate everything, but still is able to stand alone on itself, that would be great. For now, I think this is a really fun helping between the voice work and the animation, the score that really heightens those moments of action. And then the love story that feels very genuine with the voice work that is, you know, reflecting those that love story. It's great. And then those individual episode story marks. There's some characters that you're going to see that you recognize, but they're also not concentrating on some of those ones that we've had so often that you kind of, when you think about Superman and Lois Lane, that you expect to have those characters in here. Perhaps they might be doing something a little bit different this time, which I appreciated. I think uh, I would love to read this in comic form. I also hope that we get a number of seasons because I think uh, this will draw a fan base, even though it is very family orientated. I think that's OK. I don't think we need to go dark with every project. So I'm going to give this four Nicholas Cages out of five. <laughs> and you've got one. Congratulations. Let me know if you're going to watch this. Are you looking forward to this? Who is your favorite Superman in animated form and in live action form? I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.